fun, interesting fact. Okay, we're gonna have fun now. Okay. All right. Uh, only team ever to win an NCAA wrestling title west of the Rockies. Arizona State. Arizona State. Okay. Bobby Douglas is the head coach. Mm -hmm. uh, I, there was a bunch of Ohio guys on the team. No yeah. NCAA titles. Yeah. Uh, three. Is it, is this actually give me the rundown? It was St. John. Four, four guys from Arizona, two from Michigan, two from Ohio. Yep. I think. No champs, right? No champs. Mike Davy. Mike Davies. Dan St. John. Oh, Davies yeah. was Chardon. Cleveland, I, Northeast Ohio guys. Yep, yeah, I've had the Zeke unique, from Michigan. I've had the unique experience of getting to know all those guys pretty well. Now they're they're an awesome group of guys. So like an unprecedented thing. It's only been done once. It hasn't been done since. You're a Western guy. I always love asking people from the West about the West because mm -hmm. you're you're clearly at a disadvantage as far as travel time. You're at a disadvantage as far as the amount of competition. You're at a disadvantage. It's not in the Midwest hot, hotbed of wrestling. Mm. So it's really hard to overcome things. I mean, it's to an extent. I mean, to an extent. You look at our recruiting class um, two years ago. We got two kids from PA. We got the best kid out of Minnesota. We got two from California. I mean, we had kids from Florida. From I mean, we're, we're recruiting nationwide, coast to coast. And we're fortunate enough to have a school like Arizona State to have that drawing power to come in. Obviously, you have the great weather, you know, great academics. Arizona State's really underrated for academics. Our business college is in the top five, engineering's top 30. I mean, the kids are coming in being serious student athletes. Can you guys do it again? Is the vision, the infrastructure's there. We know the infrastructure's there. They did it in 88. Mm -hmm. Can you guys do it? There were more teams in 1988. A lot more teams. Uh... No, there were a lot more teams. I think the quality is a little uh, is spread out a little bit more. I mean, when you got, uh, I hate even giving other programs, you know, name dropping, but you look at it across the board. I mean, it, there's a lot of really deep, deep teams, and it seems like every dang year there's another team like NC State, North Carolina's coming up and doing great things. I mean, across the board, it's starting to, the parity is starting to kind of spread out a little bit more. Edinburgh had the, the year two years ago. I mean, <laughs> look at you look at some of these teams. It's it's really incredible. Well, when Edinburgh is is winning all these matches, teaching headlocks, I'm gonna start teaching headlocks too. <laughs> is a kid in high school? You're you're here in Georgia. All preseason headlocks. All oh, headlocks. <laughs> when you come here to this though, and then you know you guys, it takes a patchwork of guys. Mm -hmm. It can't be all California. It can't be Arizona. You know, and it's just like all these guys, and you know, Zeke tells you the team he was on that won. Mm -hmm. Is that something where you're trying to bring these like corners of the country together to win a national title? Is that something you kind of look yeah. at? Yeah, like like I said, we're trying to actually just go after kids that really are plugged in with the, the Olympic movement to win a world Olympic title because those guys are all great human beings. I mean, they are doing the thing, living the right lifestyles, going to class, being successful, and. Those are the kids that we're targeting, and I think it's going to pay off. I think the vision there, the infrastructure is there, the support of the administration. I mean, I can't even begin to say how thankful I am for our administration. And uh, I can honestly say for the NCAA championships, we were supposed to have three of our, our associate athletic directors, our head AD, two of our associate athletic directors there, but we um, end up hosting the... Um, the NCAA basketball tournament for women. So our head, our head uh, uh, athletic director Ray Anderson had to pull out at the last minute, and he was like, "But still, hold my tickets because if I can fly out there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out there. I'm gonna get out there. So don't get rid of my tickets." Uh, I got Don Baki, who's just, he's a gangster. He's a G. <laughs> the guy's been in the game for a long time. I mean, he knows everyone and everything. And then we got your Ohio Scotty guy, Scotty Graham. Scotty Graham. Scotty Graham was New York State Champion Wrestling. He's, I've Did watched, you know that? I've watched his um, state championship match constantly. He'll come in. He'll come in. He comes in there. He puts on. You know, he still wants to. Tailback for Ohio State. Yeah, NFL All-Pro. I mean, the guy's awesome. He's legit. Yeah, he comes in. He warms up. He stretches out. And then he bounces. We never get to see him wrestle. But. <laughs> Is this movement the this compound uh you know the combine col compound college combine is this a movement you're saying you, you you know you spoke about earlier football's doing it basketball does it they specialize with all these different ones gatorade nike under armor they're all putting on these combines is wrestling moving towards that to help you guys recruit more effectively and, and be a better recruiting tool for you guys i think so because i think the quality of the kids is getting better across the board uh, when you have 
of more clubs, more private coaches. I mean, there's really good kids out there. And you're going to find kids that have great uh, academics um, that might just not get the national exposure because they might not have been traveling all these, you know, national tournaments out there. There's, I don't know how many high school national championships there are now. And there's Flo's got one, NHSCA's got, got one, USA Wrestling's got one, and there's there's tons of them. Do you see yourself going to more clubs to recruit? Like there's a, there's a Send. There's Rhino Club, there's Burnett Train, there's Young Guns, there's oh, yeah. there's just no, we've been, Compound, we, we, there's clubs everywhere. We, we, we definitely um, um, rely on our relationship with the club coaches to help us um, get to know athletes better. All right. Are you guys going to win a national title? Are you bringing it back to Tempe? Is it going to happen? I am not answering that. You're not going to answer that? Nah. You guys don't, you guys Is think. Is LeBron going to win? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> I, you know what? I think we're outmatched right now with the, uh, the the Cavs. But, you know, the infrastructure's there. Can you guys do it? Do you feel confident in your guys' system? We have to do the work. I mean, we have to do the work. We have to get better. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be on NCAA championship teams. I know the work that goes into it. I know the extras. Um, there's not any magical dust we can sprinkle on guys to just turn them into NCAA champions. If I could give you a 100% answer on how to become an NCAA champion, it would be, the game would be a lot easier. Um, I like where we're at. I think our kids are improving. I think they're hungry. I think that they're doing the right things, and they're going to they're gonna be pretty good.